Hello. Welcome back to M Storytime. I was just reading my favorite book for the week. Would you like to read it with me? I love sharing my favorite stories with you and also all my friends and my family. So make sure that if you have a favorite book, you read it as much as you like with all the people that are special to you. So without further ado, I think we should read my favorite book for this week. And it is called, <gasps> I Ain't Gonna Paint No More. Look at him, covered in paint. Do you like to paint? After reading this book, I always feel like painting. So I might do that after we share this story. <laughs> so this story has lots of rhyming words in there. So we'll be able to listen and guess what word we think might come next. There are also lots of cool pictures that we can talk about with our adults and our friends. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I did. So let's see what I ain't gonna paint no more is about. I ain't gonna paint no more. Our author today is Karen Beaumont. That's the lovely lady who wrote this book. And the illustrator is David Catro. He drew all the beautiful pictures. Let's see what happens in the story. One day my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor and the ceiling and the walls and the curtains and the door. And I heard my mama holler like I never did before. Yeah, ain't gonna paint no more. I think mama might be a little bit angry. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. Look at mama putting the painting away. <laughs> That's what I say, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. <laughs> now he's getting it back down again. I think he's gonna get in trouble. <laughs> So I take some red and I paint my head. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Or what the heck, gonna paint my, I wonder what he could paint that rhymes with heck. Hmm, shall we see? Gonna paint my neck. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still, I just can't rest till I paint my chest. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Guess there ain't no harm if I paint my arm. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Look at what he painted on his arm. Can you tell what they are? It's a line of ants. Really cool. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I just can't stand not to paint my. What rhymes with stand? Could it be hand? Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Then I see some black so I paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Like an Easter egg, gonna paint my what rhymes with egg? <gasps> Leg. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Look how cool the pattern on his leg is. Does it remind you of an Easter egg? It does remind me of an Easter egg. Ha, huh, cool. Still, I ain't complete till I paint my feet. Now, I ain't gonna paint no more. He has said that a lot though, 
Do you think he's really finished painting this time? Let's see. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut, gonna paint my... I wonder what rhymes with nut. What? Says Mama. Y'all don't faint, cause there ain't no paint. So I ain't gonna paint no more. There's no paint left. I think he might actually be done painting this time. Oh, he's in the bath washing it all off. And that is the end of our story. Did you like it? <gasps> Yay, I'm so glad. Remember, if you did really like this book, you can either go to your local library and borrow it for yourself, keep it at home and read it as much as you want before giving it back, or you can just re-watch this video whenever you're in the mood for it ain't gonna paint no more. <laughs> I think my favourite part of that book was how all the different body parts rhymed with the words that were before it. It was kind of like a guessing game, but you had little clues because it rhymed with the word. Huh, how clever. All right, well, that is the end of us reading our story for today. So, Hello, Torrent Tigers. I hope you enjoyed the book, Ain't Gonna Paint No More. Today we are gonna make some homemade paint. At the end of this video, you will see another recipe that Miss Donna made and hers um, you have to cook. So I'll be sure to place both recipes so that you have access to them. Um, the paint that I'm gonna make is called Taste Safe Paint. So if you eat it, it's okay. It's not gonna taste very good though. Um, you, you just do a fourth a cup of salt. A half a cup of flour, a half a cup of water, and then some food coloring. And then you stir really well. I'm going to put some extra food coloring in there. And then you stir until all the clumps are out. And then you can mess with the, you can add more flour if you need to, if you don't like the consistency, but we'll see how this turns out and what it looks like on paper. Okay, I have most of the clumps out. I'm going to try this on a piece of paper. And here is what it looks like. You can store um, this homemade paint in the refrigerator up to six months. Um, so that's a really long time, which is great. It's nice to see everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.